magandang uh, araw mga kababayan. Kapapasok lamang po na news uh, September 13, uh, 2020 dito sa Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Tungkol po ito sa paglift ng uh, travel ban sa buong uh, kaharian ng uh, Saudi Arabia. At ayon po ito mismo sa Saudi Gazette, Gazette uh, Report. So, Uh, ba, uh, hayaan nyo pong basahin ko po sa inyo ang minsahe na galing mismo sa Saudi Gazette. No? Okay. In Riyadh, Saudi Arabia uh, announced on Sunday that it would lift totally the restrictions on citizens for leaving and returning to the kingdom with opening all land and sea and airport starting January 1, 2021. No, in line with the coronavirus-related uh, precautionary measures and protocols, citizens of the Gulf Co- uh, Cooperation Council states uh, as well as expatriate and their dependence on valid uh, visa will be allowed to enter uh, the kingdom effective September 15. They include expatriate who had valid exit and re-entry work visa, residence uh, permit or ICAMA, and visit visas provided that they full uh, all the coronavirus-related precautionary measures and protocols and the coronavirus negative test result carried out 48 hours before the entry of the kingdom. The decision was taken uh, on the basis of the report presented by the content the authorities regarding the latest developments in combating the pandemic in the kingdom, the Saudi press agency reported uh, quoting an official source of the Ministry of Interior. Uh, the reporting highlights the continuing high rates uh, of the epidemic spread in numbers of the countries uh, which uh, are currently facing a second wave of pandemic. The decision is also out of government uh, keenness on the safety and health citizens in the light of the possibility of not having a special, uh, uh, a, a safe and effective vaccine to prevent this disease before the end of 2020, the spokesman said. Now, the ministry source uh, stated that a A, a plan to lift uh, the suspensions of OMRA uh, service will be announced gradually based on that uh, based on what we will decide it's independently later in this regard in, in in light of the developments related to the pandemic according to the ministry statement the date uh, set for lifting the suspensions of all travel restrictions will be announced 30 days before january 1 Uh, 2021. The Ministry of Health uh, has to submit a request uh, with regards to prevented hair, uh, health requirements to, the, to, the, to, to be taken by the passengers uh, during the travel as well as at the airport, seaports, and land entry station. The Ministry announced exemption for the entry and exit from the Kingdom from the kingdom uh, before January 1 for the following categories of citizens and expatriate uh, effective uh, from September 15, 2020. And that is uh, uh, in strict compliance uh, of the coronavirus uh, precautionary measures and prevented protocols. So the citizens is letter A, a government staff, uh, a civilian and military personnel assigned to official duties. And B, employees in Saudi diplomatic and consular missions uh, and attache abroad as well as in uh, regional and international organizations in addition to their family and uh, their companions. Letter C, employees in permanent jobs in public, private, and non-profit uh, establishment outside the kingdom and those who have jobs in company and commercial uh, establishments outside the kingdom. Business whose business conditions required, it, that's in letter D, uh, travel to, to, to finish their commercials and then industrial activities as well as export, uh, marketing, and sales managers uh, whose work uh, requires visiting their customer. 
Letter E, patients whose uh, treatment requires travel uh, outside the kingdom based on medical records, especially cancer patients and patients uh, in an organ uh, transplantation. Uh, Letter F, student and foreign scholarship as well as uh, of those uh, who are studying at their own personal uh, expenses and, and, and trainees in medical fellowship program uh, who studies uh, or training required travel to to the countries uh, where they pursue study to uh, or, or training in and additions uh, to their companies uh, to the companions rather letter G those who have the following humanitarian cases in family reunion uh, for a male or female citizen uh, with uh, their relatives residing outside the kingdom the death of the husband, wife, parent, or child outside the kingdom. Now, GCC, uh, citizen and expatriate. Gulf citizen as well as expatriate uh, and their companions uh, who are now residing outside the kingdom and who have proof of their residence outside the kingdom are also allowed to enter the kingdom. They include the following categories. Number one, participant in regional and international uh, official uh, sporting events including players and members of a technical and administrative staff number two citizens of the gold corporations uh, council states will be allowed to enter and exit the kingdom uh, non-saudis who have exit and re-entry work visa residency permit or visit visa will be allowed to enter the kingdom provided that their entry is in accordance with the preventive health protocols and uh, procedures set by the committee concerns with taking uh, measures to prevent the spread of the corona virus in the kingdom the controls uh, include not a allowing anyone to enter the territory of the kingdom except after submitting evidence that they are free from coronavirus infected infections uh, based on a report of uh, medical carried out 48 hours before the moment uh, of arrival in the kingdom and number three uh, there will be a partial lifting of the suspensions of international flight uh, service to to and from the kingdom and of the uh, opening of land sea and airports allowing uh, the exempted uh, groups of citizens and others to king the, to enter the and leave the kingdom number four who stated in this exemption is without prejudice to approve our requirements uh, or uh, controls related to countries uh, to which entry or exit has been suspended uh, for reasons other than that of combating the spread of coronavirus and number five it stated in this exemptions does not apply uh, uh, to those countries which uh, the concerns committee decide to take prevented measure by suspending trouble or uh, coming uh, from those countries due to the outbreak of coronavirus in orders to uh, prevent uh, its spread in, in the kingdom and number six these exemptions will come into force effective 6 uh, a.m on tuesday september 15 2020 the concerned authorities each with uh, within its jurisdiction shall issue statement uh, explaining the procedures of implementing the aforementioned exemptions uh, including uh, relevant uh, controls and condition uh, the ministry sources added so yan po yung uh, latest news dito po about sa uh, lifting ng uh, ng Saudi Arabia sa mga travel ng mga international flight and local flights po natin so pakaabangan po natin ang mga susunod nating mga news regarding this uh, information about uh, this uh, uh, yung paglift ng ng uh, Saudi Arabia sa sa mga tra sa pa pagpasok ng at paglabas ng mga expatriate dito sa bansang uh, Saudi Arabia. So, uh, abangan po natin sa mga susunod na balita ang mga kaganapan po sa ngayon. Ito po muna uh, sa gabi ang ang news po ito ay galing sa Saudi Gazette uh, report.
mismo na aking binasa. So, sa maraming salamat po. See you again next time. God bless.